Welcome to our introduction to Windows XP. In this video, we'll show you more about customizing the Start menu. In this video, I'll quickly walk you through some further customizations you can make to the Start menu. So first of all, let's go to a blank area in the main part of the taskbar and right-click, choose Properties, and let's go to the Start Menu tab. Okay, the regular or default Start Menu is currently selected. Let's left-click on Customize, and there are a number of general options. First of all, I can change large icons to small icons. The large icons look like this. And if you want, for whatever reason, to change that to small icons, just select Small Icons. Left click, and you see that becomes selected instead of this one. And let's OK that, and let's apply changes. By clicking Apply, it has the same effect as clicking OK, but this dialog box doesn't disappear. It stays active, whereas if you click OK, the dialog box disappears, and you see that Apply is now grayed out because there's nothing further to apply. No further changes to apply at this moment. So, back to the Start menu, and you see that we're now using small icons, as they're called. Okay, let's left-click that to go back and customize. And what you can also do is easily add a shortcut to the Internet or email. So if I left-click once there, it becomes ticked or checked, and this becomes active, as you can see. If I left-click it again, this menu here is not active, but if I click it again, it becomes active, and I can choose which web browser I want to have a shortcut for. So if I left-click on Internet Explorer and OK that, OK and apply that, and that's done. So back to the Start menu, and now you see that we have an Internet Explorer shortcut. It's a very easy way to add some customization to the Start menu. And if we go back to Customize, this is the General tab, and if you left-click on Advanced, there are a lot more options. Typically, you won't need to change any of these. You may want to play around with them and see which ones you really want to customize, but there's no real need to do that. For example, you can see that Start Menu Items gets quite advanced. You can choose Control Panel, Display as a Link, Display as a Menu, or Don't Display this Item. Enable Dragging and Dropping, Favorites Menu, Help and Support, My Documents, My Music, My Pictures, Network Connections. You see it gets quite advanced and very customizable. But there's no particular need to get into this unless you feel quite comfortable making advanced changes to the Start menu. Here, there's even an option for administrative tools, which is very advanced. So let's ignore this area here, and let's just play around with one option here for demonstration purposes. Open Submenu when I pause on them with my mouse. Currently, you can see that if you go to the Start menu, then All Programs, you don't need to click. The menu just appears. Let's left-click here to get rid of the menu, and now you see that you can deselect Open Submenus when I pause on them. So just left-click once, and let's OK that, and let's apply that, and that's done, and back to the Start menu. So now, I'm holding the mouse, but nothing's happening. I need to left-click for it to appear. These submenus still appear if you hold the mouse over them, but the All Programs menu only appears if you click it. And if I click it again, the menu disappears. Let's click Away now. Okay, so those are some options for default start menu. If I select Classic Start Menu and Customize, you get quite a few options there. It's slightly more advanced. 
You can add items, remove items, advanced, and make a lot of customizations here. You may want to play around with these, but there's no particular need to unless you really want to customize the look and feel of Windows XP. So let's cancel that and let's go back to the default start menu and let's OK that. OK, one final little tip that I actually find very useful is that if you go to the start menu and particularly in all programs, Sometimes when you install software, it displays in no particular order, and it can sometimes be quite difficult to find things. For example, you might expect things to be in alphabetical order. So if things do become a bit messy or jumbled up, all you need to do is right-click, and let's get rid of that. Let's just left-click on the blank area. Actually, what I want to do is, anywhere there is something you can click on, an icon effectively, Just right-click anywhere and choose Sort by Name, and it does a quick sort and sorts all your programs list by name. It makes things a lot easier to find and a lot tidier. You may find that very helpful, particularly if you're installing a lot of new software. Okay, let's left-click to close that to get rid of it. And that's how you can make some very useful customizations to the Start menu.